Oh, right. A. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, start a new test. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Clever. Welcome back, everybody. We've got more evil, scary ghosts. Evil! Hey, did you look into the powers info you unlock now? One second. Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping the door would close. Why isn't the door closing now? Oh, he's too close. Whatever. You had that way more zoomed in than I thought you were. Weren't you here before? Yep, this is where I talked to the dude. But how did there get to be a mimic in there? Oh. Did the guy still somehow become a mimic? <laughs> Uh, maybe. Cause didn't he like get out and- yeah, didn't he like run away? I let him out, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm out of ammo. It's just weird that there's a mimic in here now. I guess if the door is unlocked, it could have just wandered in. Yeah. Come and turn me into one of you. I wonder if the engineer is still. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, that's right. We cleaned this place out. <laughs> yep. Oh, hey. More phantoms everywhere. Might just backtrack the other way. Oh, no. I don't want to tackle this. He left. He decided he had better things to do. <laughs> Apparently. I know I could go that way, but I'm just kind of looking to go back. I think it's just faster to go this way now. Did the Null Wave Transmitter get rid of his shocky shock? Yeah, he, uh, that that one's the one that has like the tentacles and the 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 copy ability. Yeah, um, and it made it so he couldn't use them. I think it's a temporary thing though. Hello. Hello. No Give me brain. <laughs> Give me more brain machine. Thanks for the brain sauce. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna bother going that way. Imagine you were in some sort of like experimental hospital or something and you saw two tubes. One was like spinal fluid, the other was brain sauce. <laughs> I would be concerned. You can turn a lot of that food into organic material. You can 
fill out a service questionnaire at the front desk. Part of me wants to go back and fix my suit, but whatever. Okay. I'm pretty sure all of my objectives are arboretum based now. We're sure we can't get to the cruise quarters right now? We definitely go there later. Uh, I think you get there from the arboretum anyways, so I might as well go back. Uh, go to deep storage. Where is that on the map? View on the map. Uh, uh, all of a sudden my eyes are itchy, my nose is running. It's like oh, I'm really? all of a sudden allergic to something. Jesus. Uh, so crew quarters and deep storage both come off of the arboretum. I just realized we haven't been checking our audio. I hope it's okay. Hopefully. <laughs> it should be fine. Still no way to get in here. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, and there are mods. Do I have four? I do. Here he goes. Now he's a hacking genius. Mouse five. Oh shit. Yeah, it'll move around. I was tapping mouse five. Fuck you. <laughs> Like playing bumper cars. Oh god. No. Hex. There you go. That was kind of tight. <laughs> That's what she said. Is this all I came in here for? There's nothing else? You got a weapon upgrade kit. I mean, fair. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's one of those crew computers. You can search for a guy to get the morgue key code. <laughs> uh, apprehending Dr. Galios. At the end of the second shift, you are to escort to a security office in the main lobby. Why is Galagos a problem? Is she the one that was, uh, like, trying to whistleblow or whatever? I don't know, maybe. Oh, that's why there's turrets in here. Mark submitted. Wait, you're coming with me, turret. <laughs> Adventure. I absolutely did this. <laughs> oh, really? I remember, like, I'm just gonna take eight turrets into this room and then set them up. I'm just gonna blow up my turret real quick. I don't know what you're talking about. Can I take it with me? Nope. Cool. I seem to remember you being able to, but I might just be thinking of the areas. Because I definitely took, like, oh look, room full of enemies, I'm gonna set up like eight turrets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unless you can get the ability to craft turrets or something, or... Maybe. <laughs> Joel weeks. Joel makes me weak. <laughs> in the knees. I was gonna say in the knees, yeah. In the sternum. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that door open? This is suspicious, I hear sounds. 
But I don't Isn't this where all like the those things are? This explodey things? Yeah, but it's not pinging any on my thing. I just got hit with radioactive damage. What, is there something I can't even see with the psychoscope on? I don't think there's an enemy like that. Huh. Interesting. No, actually I don't want to hack it. No, no, no. Oh, fuck. Christ. Yep. <laughs> I didn't want to hack it, I wanted to fix it. Now I'm gonna get zapped. Cool. Actually, you know what? I will hack it, because... I'm, I'm curious to kind of see if it'll, if like, if I leave the area and come back, if it'll keep the fact that it's hacked. This is kind of an obnoxious game. No. No. <laughs> circled the area. I remember liking these little mini games. It's just the timing's a little tight for it. Okay, so I'm gonna remember that this one's been hacked. So now I can't hack it anymore. Oh, it doesn't even talk anymore. Okay, so let me try to remind me when we come back to this area to see if this thing is still hacked. Because if that's the case, I'm just gonna go run around hacking all the turrets and then I'm gonna go nuts with powers. <laughs> Then I'm gonna go NUTS! Now I definitely need the recycler charge so I can just fucking start throwing them at bodies to get more organic material so I can make neuromods. Hmm. <laughs> you know that, like, that meme of the doge, but, like, when he's ripped? Yeah. <laughs> like, you just spend a. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah, hit me harder, daddy. Oh, yeah, that's what I like. That was annoying. Um, I was gonna say, <laughs> Alex finally sees you, and he's just, Morgan, I know you spent a lot of time putting neuromods in. Jesus Christ, and that's the kind of body you've got. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go? Did you pick Arboretum? Yep. Alex! Damn it. Hold on. I'm encrypting the rest of this. Uh. Do no harm, new objective. He's not Do the no one harm, new objective. Is he the one you were looking for? His name's familiar. Do no harm. Download... DeVries decryption key. Alice One Lobby, where I just came from. But is he the one... Like, check your... Was he the guy you were looking for? The, like, side quest that you picked? Oh, yes he was! Because that, that name was familiar. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. Yeah, so now... So he, now you have the... Okay, I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting so long for this. <laughs> because I fought the crazy operator thing in this room, so I probably didn't notice his body. Mm. So I gotta go to the lobby, which I'm pretty sure is where his office was, so I can get into his office finally. It's all coming together. They were just finally wrapping up the fucking quest with the head blow up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
See, I remember it being like this, where when you empty an area, it never really fills back up again. Sometimes there'd be a stray. But earlier, not in this episode, but earlier when we were recording, you were leaving a room and then turning around and then there was phantoms. Yeah. I don't remember it being that way. Eh. I believe in you. Insufficient Typhon material found. Standing down. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming this wants me to go to the office. I don't know why I'm doing things in his office, but... I think it was just that it was locked and you wanted to get in there, but I can't remember. But I'm, it wants me to go in there to get his decryption key. I've been waiting oh so long. I bet you there's actually other reasons I needed to be doing this, and I just kind of got zeroed in on doing this specific thing. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, description key, transfer file. Do no harm. You know what? Listen to decrypted transcribe message. Oh, yeah, because he was talking to Alex and then it made beeping noises. So now if you listen back to it, it should be the whole message. I'm not going back. You'll have to get it yourself. A C B A C. Good luck. Back back. Okay. You need to go to someone called Dr. Cole's office. And it's in the lobby. Dr. Morgan Psycheval, er, Morgan Psycheval is Hendrick. I need you to remove all sensitive material regarding the Psycheval's immediately. Of special importance are Morgan's log sessions. I need those materials in my office. From this point forward, only speak through an encrypted transcribe. No. I've sent you the decryption key. You should be able to download it from your workstation. Hendrick, Hendrick. Trevor Young is one of our sci one of our scientists. He was exposed to our inner containment area without proper protection. He's gone through observation in psychotronics and had his most recent neuromods removed as a precaution. We would like to keep him under a more standard quarantine until we can be certain there's no lingering psychological effects. Work with Dr. Cole on this. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So apparently you had a breakdown. I mean, that's not surprising. Who needs the fucking safe code? Maybe we can hack that safe all the way in the beginning now. <laughs> Ooh, three neuromods. That was worth. Oh yeah, I can go back and finally hack that safe. <laughs> <laughs> what if you opened the safe and the only thing in it was the code for the safe? That'd be really fucking funny. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, I'm curious if I see anything regarding... Oh, actually. Why are you moving? That lamp. I, well, it's, I think I knocked it over. Oh. I'm wondering if it's 4242. Because Dishonored used to do that. There'd be oh. like weird little hints like that. I think we're done here. Okay, where's Dr. Holes. Hello, nice. Oh, I was already in this guy's office. I 
when it looks like you trashed the place. Uh, subject Lorenzo Calvino, session 253. My concern with Dr. Calvino is increasing his symptoms have escalated from memory loss and occasional disorientation to delusions and paranoia. His increased agitation in the session has given me cause to take his issues up with Alex during our next debriefing session. But that's not about you. I know. Tell me about the dream. The dream. Yes. It's, um... It's always in my lab, and um, I'm standing in front of the glass. Are you alone? Uh, yes. What do you see in the glass? Uh, well, nothing. At first. I don't want to turn it on, but I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When I do, it's like the heart of a black hole, an immense darkness. There's something swimming in the black. I catch glimpses, edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through onto my side. I have to turn off the glass before it sees me, but I always wake before I can. What does it look like, the shape in the glass? I, uh, nothing. Does it look like this image here? <laughs> Does it look like this? No, 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 that, that's... No, I, I don't... Um... Are you sure? Where did you get that drawing? Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> it was just a picture of Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's hostilities towards me continue unabated. The distance she creates makes it difficult for me to address her issues of anxiety and distrust. Some of her answers today did lend me a bit of insight I might be able to use in future sessions to hopefully get her to open up more. Sarai, come in. It's Sarah, but you can call me Chief Elazar. Matt. Matthias, please. Forgive me, but your name is Sarai in the file. We've been over this. My mother Americanized it. Will we be spending the next 59 minutes like this? Because we could cut it short right now. We've discussed your mother. I thought perhaps today we could speak more about the career choices that were born of that. Serving in the military wasn't an excuse to get away from her nagging, Matt. I was just... restless. And you're better now? Not restless? I'm fine. Because your last tour of duty was the evacuation, and reports from there... I saved as many as I could. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred civilians. And then I ate them. Tragic. Still, to lose soldiers under your command... The cost was worth it, both in lives and the unification of the region. Taking on a losing battle like that? Fighting? I'm curious what she's troops, talking about. The equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural, it was man-made. It prepared me for here, Dr. Cole. Because this station? It's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. We are well-trained and poorly equipped. <sighs> the research is dangerous. Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. You think there was like a war with the Typhon? Maybe not necessarily the Typhon, but clearly, like, the game presents it like the Typhon is a new problem. Mm. But it's almost completely obvious that the Typhon was a thing back in, like, the 50s or whenever our timeline diverged from this timeline. So, I'm... So, like, that's why January's thing about, like, make sure the, typh the Typhon don't get onto Earth just doesn't square with me at all. Hmm. Danielle exhibits rest, uh, re uh, relentless anger towards authority generally, and and the use specifically. Oh, excellent! A gentle, uh, a few gentle questions sent her on a tirade that ended with her storming out of the office. I wouldn't be surprised if she decided to skip these meetings for the rest of her tenure here on Talos One. These psych evals are a waste of time. A waste of time, like back on Earth. It was different. Was Earth was a waste of time. Issues with authority. A year of counseling doesn't sound like a trivial matter. Those files were supposed to be closed. 
Are you angry? I'm getting there. Any new relationships? No. I thought you and Miss Foy, the sanitation engineer, were seen together. She's a sanitation boss, and we're not in a relationship. Not anymore. Ah. And this separation, did it involve anger? Issues with authority? Screw this! I'm done. Report me to the U's, I don't care. They're putting the station at risk just like Transtar North and just like on Earthside. You assholes will bury it with your psych eval bullshit. And another thing. <laughs> yeah, they've mentioned Earthside before as well. Okay, so how do I access my shit from his computer now? Utilities? Oh, wait, that's to your left. There's another computer. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> I've already done that. Alright. Oh, this is those from the beginning of the game. Yeah. You've been sent to the desk for your actions. How does this make you feel? It was worth it. <laughs> Push the fat man. Yeah. I fucking lost it when you picked that and Bellamy was I would have done the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it still says push the fat man, even though it doesn't <laughs> give it as an option. Please wait. Okay, let's take a look at what... Oh, right. A oh, 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 <laughs> oh, start a new test. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> Clever. Ooh, ooh. Clever. ACBAC? I think. I wonder if something would have happened if you did this during the test in the beginning. Hmm. A C. B A C Search <laughs> <laughs> safe house one lobby. So I wonder if it unlocked the safe. Which safe? Whatever safe is in the lobby that you gotta find. Oh. I have something to say I've after been listening this. listening to the logs, uh, reading the research, playing catch up. Do you know how many times we've had this conversation? This is the fifth time. Does it always go the same way? Not always. What does that mean? What do you think it means? I think Fuck it means you should be concerned as my counselor. You left yourself a message. Would you like to listen to it? No. I think it would help. I said no. That's not me. Why do you say that? I don't know. I just know. You agreed to this. This was all your idea. Yours and Alex's. I didn't agree to any of this. That Morgan is not me. I would ne- Do you know what's going on in Psychotronics? Do you? If I did, I couldn't say. You know that. What do you know about the Typhon? <laughs> we shouldn't talk about them. Not without your brother present. Them. You do know, you snake. How can you Hello, sit there? Morgan. Morgan. See you again, Take Dr. a deep Yu. breath. <laughs> Here. I don't want a pill. 
I want this station shut down. I want Earth... Morgan. I said no. <sighs> okay. I'm going to call Alex. What was the first thing he said to me? Uh... You seem frustrated. Do you remember I made a comment earlier? When one of the phantoms said, you seem frustrated, and I was like, oh. you're goddamn right I am. <laughs> and they, I've had, I've seen a couple of them say that. Huh. So what I'm curious about now is are they actually talking or is it more of a telepathy, the telepathy thing? From what I remember, it is some partially a tele tele telepathic thing. Telepathic, there we yeah. go, yeah. So I'm wondering if it's I'm hearing them in my head mm. and it's mirroring certain things that I've known to have been said or that are important statements. That could be. Is that quest line over now? Yeah, crew quarters, crew quarters. <laughs> Julian Howard, who is December, search the office safe in the Arboretum. Deep storage, which I get to from the Arboretum. I really don't know why all of a sudden my nose is like, nope, gonna run. What would you have done if you fixed that and it woke up and it was like, Morgan, it's me, September. <laughs> you can't trust December or January. Oh, jeez. have a whole bunch of fucking Guilty Spark-esque fucking operators <laughs> with, with, with all with Morgan's personality but different. <laughs> <sighs> Hello, are you here for an appointment? I want in. Let me Hi. in! I'm actually surprised I don't have a key card for that. So, did you pick up anything else in the conversation between Morgan and the psychiatrist guy? Um, there is a comment about them, so it's, like, I, did, I do think more and more that there is an actual, like, sentience or something going on. It's not just, like, a animalistic random species. Um... <laughs> what? It, it sounded like you were gonna continue and then you just didn't. But yes, you're on the right track there. Yeah. I, when I'm, they first discovered the Typhon, they thought they were like. Just like. Some sort of organism like akin to like mold. Yeah. Where it was alive but not sentient. Yeah. And then they figured out that they were essentially torturing a sentient species. Yeah, yeah like it's, it's clear that there is more to them than, uh, quote-unquote, meets the eye. I want in that room, though, and I don't know how to get in it. Wait, that room? Yeah, this one. You can't hack it? Nope. No mention key card. That's okay. So where are you going to go now? To the Arboretum. Because that's where the game's wanted me to go for a while now. <laughs> for like eight episodes. <laughs> oh yeah, did this one stay hacked as well? Yep. I wonder what the <laughs> fortifying does, if it just gives them more health. I think it, yeah, it gives them more armor and health. Have I 
gone to life support before using this lift? I don't know. I don't remember. Life support might be where you got in the lift. Because it originally be. didn't work any at the time. I think I took it from Arboretum, though. Oh. I wonder how common that fucking phantom nonsense is. Alright, well maybe next time we'll see what we see in the Arboretum. I want to see through this door first, see if there's a bunch of shit. <laughs> oh, that's right, you were in the Arboretum when you discovered the turret shoot at you. Yeah. And there was also the weird gorilla typhon. Oh, yeah. I don't really remember enough about it. And the mind control typhon. <laughs> I'm still alive! Alright, let's see if you can hack these turrets in this episode. <laughs> I love the immediate just- Oh, yeah, really. Huzzah! Well, we'll see you guys next time. Hell yeah.